All right, so you've seen all like the 700, 800, 900, 1,000 dollar Peter box unboxings. And yeah, there's some cool stuff in there. But what about these low priced boxes? Are they gonna make you some money? Let's find out, cause this intro is pure clickbait. <laughs> because on my viewfinder, it looks like date new, but it's not. It's in support of my boy, Untied Hawaii, who you need to check out if you don't already. But you're checking me out too, which means you probably know who Untied Hawaii is because without that dude, I would have zero subscribers. Well, not zero, maybe like six or seven. But that doesn't mean I don't love each and every one of you pals like you're my own, who I birthed unto the wilderness. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome back. Thanks everyone for tuning in. If you have not tuned in before and you just clicked on here because of my stupid intro and maybe the dumb thumbnail of what's going on in this video, welcome! I'm SB Mitch. I unbox things and I tell dad jokes and put stupid sound effects in my videos. You can see more of those kind of things if you like by pressing the subscribe button and becoming a pal. We're all pals here, so that's what, what we call each other. We're pals. So, let's just jump right into this box. This is a Soul Supremacy Beater box from a shop in the Bay Area of California. The purpose of these things is to flip and make some money because they don't price them at what the actual market value is. So if you got some time to clean things up, maybe do a little re restoration, and you just know what you're doing and know who your clientele is, you could make some money. Okay, this box, <laughs> I totally forgot how much this box cost. This box is one of the low value boxes. I had to get it with my phone. Hint, use your computer if you're trying to get a beater box that's above $300. But that's how much this one is. This beater box costs $300 plus $40 shipping for a grand total of $340. Make sure you watch until the end because I break it down and show you how much I could possibly make with this box. Let's crack this son of a gun open and see what's going on inside. Ooh, this box has seen better days, trust me. I did just remember something. The most profitable box in terms of return on investment I've ever gotten was $400. It was also filled with LeBrons and I was living in Cleveland at the time. So let's see what's going on here. There's a lot of different shoes. There's a pair of sandals. <laughs> this is the first. I've never gotten sandals in a Soul Supremacy beater box. It's a size 11 taupe pair of some kind of sandals. New, I guess, whatever that means. They are dead stock. I do not wear slides. I think slides are absolutely disgusting. The feet are just not attractive, so. Uh. Don't know anything about these. Don't know how much they are gonna get. There's a sticker on here that says 11 slash 100. I don't know, we'll find out. So size 11, sandal boys with a Z slash new, whatever that is. I think new is the brand, so cool. There's a couple vans in here. I'm pretty excited. If there's any that are my size, I might be keeping some. This is a size 10. It's an authentic. Just a simple cream and black checkerboard colorway. These are, this is, I mean, Vans are as simple as they get. I love Vans. I think Vans are super comfortable. I think they're awesome for beaters. I think you can beat the snot out of them and they still look good. So this is a size 10 pair of Vans. These are pretty slick, so. If you're interested in these or like any of the other shoes that are in here, you can contact me down below. Some of them end up on my website, which I will get to at the end. There's another pair of Vans. This is an old school J Crew size 10. Whoa, these are actually really nice. Probably like try it on or something. Colorway is really nice. This is suede on the heel and on the toe box. It's suede all over, but this is a really nice pair. I really like these. If these were an 11, they would definitely be staying, but check that out. Really nice. I really like Vans, as I said, but this is, again, a size 10, comes with extra laces too. Stop geeking out about Vans and keep going. There's a lot of shoes in here, so I think there's some kids' shoes in here. It's a size 5 Youth Air Jordan 9 Retro BG. Very lightly worn. I don't know what these are called. I mean, these just need a little cleanup. Back to school's coming up, so kids' shoes are never a bad thing, but yeah, these shoes are in really good shape. Kids' shoes sell on eBay, I will say that. If you put them up on eBay, you'll probably get some hits, especially with back to school coming up. Let's keep going. After that, this is a Zoom Stefan Janoski, size nine, with the box. Box is a little beat up. These are the camo Stefan Janoskis. Really, really nice colorway, though. Camo's awesome. I mean, these are these are like Nike's version of an old of a Vans old school. Probably not gonna get much for these, but maybe you know 40, 50 bucks. So size nine, Stefan Janoski. Let's keep going. So I got what appears to be it's in a Jordan 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 three box. I don't know what it is. 
Yeah, okay. It's the Vanchetta Tan Air Force One Lowe's. Very lightly used, probably used like once for a day. Nice summer color or fall color, whatever you want to call it. Leather on here is actually kind of nice, not gonna lie. And the Air Force Ones will always sell because people will always like them. So size on this is eight and a half. Eight and a half Vanchetta Tan Air Force One in a replacement box. Probably not much there either. So let's keep going. There's three more in here. Here's a Kobe box, size 11. It's a Kobe 7 system. It says play fast on the insole. These are worn really, really, really awesome colorway. I've always liked Kobe's. Not much dirt on the bottom. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit. I don't know what these are called. These are really, really cool. So size 11, Kobe 7s. Probably like an eight out of 10 condition, maybe even close to nine, but there's no such thing as 8.5 in my world. Got two more in here. This is a beat up, very, very beat up box. Look at this thing, womp womp. It's a high 07, size 11. Probably tried on another tan colorway. Not a big fan of these, but yeah, these are worn. You can see the toe box creasing right there. Duh. Probably a couple bucks out of these, so. Size 11 Air Force One. So we got one more in here. Size 10 and a half. <laughs> it's a Nike Air Jordan 1, but it's got that word on it that you don't want to see. Or it's a pair of the Royal Flyknit Ones. These are worn. Look like they've been worn once or twice, but. The Flyknit Ones are a cool concept. They're just really, really hard to get on. The entire inside is leather, which is kind of weird, but a little nice touch on the tongue where it says 1985 and there's like a knit thing there. Uh, they're really lightweight. I used to have a pair of the bread fly knits, but yeah, these are cool. I mean, you can't really sneeze at those, but size 10 and a half royal knits, I guess you could say, royal one knits. And that's your box. Could go either way. I don't really know much about the stuff in here, but let's go ahead and try to give it a grade in the SB Mitch report card. <laughs> Let's give this box a grade. We will get that grade through three categories and they are as follows. Category one, condition. Category two, sizes. And category three, hype slash value. Because hype stuff has value. All right, so let's do condition first. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shoes in this $300 Soul Supremacy Beater box. One of them is dead stock. All of them are in really good shape. There's nothing really beat up. For condition, I'll give this box about a C plus. Sizes. So we have a five youth, nine, 10 and a half, 11, eight and a half, 11, 11, 10 and 10. Sizes are kind of all over the place, but there's nothing super big or super small. So sizes are pretty good. Sizes on this box, we'll give it about a B. Hype slash value. I wouldn't even consider any of these to be a money shoe, but I think there's decent like low end value on all these shoes. I'll give this box about C plus. So with the grade of C plus for condition, the grade of B for sizes, and the grade of C plus for hype slash value, this $300 Soul Supremacy Beater Box gets a grade of B minus in the SB Mitch Report Card. <laughs> So I went ahead and gave this box a grade of B minus, but is it gonna make some money? Let's find out right now in the boxes, I mean, they can make you some money. Just because there's no money shoe doesn't mean that all the shoes together aren't worth a lot of money. So not too bad. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Or if you just want to say hi, because I'll say hi back. I try to make it a point to respond to each and every one of your comments. If you get a free minute, go to my website, ransomnotesneakers.com or the shortened version, rnsmnote.com. Check out what's on the site. A lot of Supreme stuff is going to be up today. So check that out. A lot of stuff from the past hype boxes. So thanks for taking the time to watch. If you liked what was going on here, remember to subscribe. I'll have another video for you guys coming up in the next couple days. So until then, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And remember, they're just shoes. If you're not having fun doing it, find something you love doing and do that. Because it's the easiest way to be happy. That's a good way to live. We'll see you later. Toodles!